birthday present to ex-wife. Gather round, boys and gals, for it's time to hear my unfaithful ex-dale wife's and how I her. Now, bear with me because this is going to be a lengthy one, but it. So I suspected she was cheating since she raised a lot of red flags. When I inquired why she was laughing and smiling so much while texting, she said it was just her mother. Every night after work, I had to remain late. When I called in, her co-workers reported she had departed hours before. When I asked her what was going on she chuckled and explained it was simply something they did all the time at work. The last straw for me was when she left the house to fetch milk at 11.30 p.m. and didn't return until 2 a.m. If there is any piece of advice I can provide to people based on my years of experience, it is to a private investigator if you suspect your significant other is cheating. They're excellent at what they do, and they'll collect some proof that will be really useful in the subsequent divorce. Fast forward to her birthday, which is coming up in a few months. I know what you're thinking. Why did I wait months before confronting her, and did it have to be on her birthday? The answer to the first question is that I wanted to gather as much evidence as possible to provide to my lawyer while also making plans to locate a new place to live, etc. The answer to your second question is, of course, on her birthday. When I asked her what she wanted to do for her birthday this year, she insisted on my going out of town with my friends since she had to work anyhow and didn't want to be reminded that she was getting older. So I knew something is wrong after discovering a bottle of champagne and two glasses concealed in my closet. So I do what any reasonable guy would do. I leave and go to a friend's place, claiming to be leaving town. I phone her mother, father, sister, and numerous of her friends while I'm there. I tell them how I plan to surprise her by sneaking into her room with party. Streamers, kazoos, and a large cake with candles. Isn't it exciting? That was a lot of fun. It's 8.30 a.m. and I've gathered everyone outside our apartment. We all pack into the elevator, about eight of us. Her mother carrying the cake and be asking everyone to be as quiet as possible. We all sneak in and make our way down the hall towards the bedroom after I insert my key and open the door. Each is carrying a kazoo, and mom is beaming from ear to ear. As I fling open the door, we all exclaim, surprise. But then my wife appeared, bending down in a dotty stance, with her boyfriend looking at us wide-eyed mid-thrust. Mom spills the cake, her sister cries, and her father starts to yell. I act frightened and her buddies attempt to shove everyone out while shouting at her. Wife, uh, ex-wife, is crying and yelling, how could I? As the lover urgently tries to put his trousers on while fleeing the scene. Needless to say, it was one of the most memorable birthday gifts I've ever given. Story 2 My stepsister is telling my whole family my boyfriend got her pregnant to make herself feel better. Sorry for the strange title. So 3.5 years ago, I met my 25 female lover, Tim 26 male. We hit it off right away. He was wonderful and nice, and we got along wonderfully. Until I presented him to the rest of my family. My mother had remarried a few months before, I like my stepdad and we get along well, and my stepsister Sarah who is 26 female, and we were nice but not best eyes. She's a wild party girl, and we only saw each other at family gatherings while we were in our 20s. So I introduced Tim to my family, and we discovered that Sarah dated Tim when they were 20. Tim said they split up after just a few months because she made out with another man at a nightclub while drunk. Sarah became agitated and began to suggest that I had to break up with him because he was strange. She referred to Tim as her seconds and attempted to get our parents to divorce us. No, I said. They hadn't been together in years, and I didn't even know Sarah while she was dating Tim. I was irritated because my family agreed that we should end our relationship. For the last several years, Sarah has mentioned how they used to date and acted as if I stole her boyfriend, and she has been selling that story to my family and friends. It became clear that she was envious. But since I loved Tim, we simply disregarded it and continued dating. So now Tim and I live together, and we've been talking about marriage and whatnot and I just had a chat with my mom about how I believe Tim was going to propose since he's not exactly subtle, and we've been talking about it for a long. At that time Sarah, who had just moved back home with our parents, strolled in. She began asking intrusive questions about our relationship and acting strangely. 
Sarah is four months pregnant, and the father, according to her, is a deadbeat man she met up with who doesn't want anything to do with her. But she wants to keep the kid. I'd been making an effort to take her to appointments, volunteer to babysit, and be thrilled for her. Until a week ago, when my stepfather wrote me a lengthy text stating I couldn't marry Tim since he is the biological father of Sarah's child. I became enraged and approached Tim, who was stunned and said Sarah was lying. He said that there is no way and that he did not cheat on me and that he would happily get a paternity test to verify it. Unsure, I asked Sarah for further information about the times they slept together, which she said occurred a few times. She was unsteady and vacillated on specifics. The dates and times don't line up with what Tim and I have been up to. She also said that she came to our house to visit him, although I've been working from home since COVID, so I can't fathom how they did it. I'm quite convinced she's lying to split us apart because she's still envious. But now my family is involved, and they have been sending me terrible texts telling me that I should quit my relationship with Tim and allow him be with Sarah. He's in love with her, she's telling everyone, and I'm keeping him from her. She has no evidence and he has categorically denied everything. I contacted her, asking for evidence of any of this occurring, and she responded with some phony altered screenshots that I can see are phony. She typed Tim's name over a friend's phone number and assumed he was contacting her. When I checked, the buddy had almost acknowledged it to me and was trying to laugh it off. She photoshopped the timestamps terribly. I am at a loss on what to do now. I think Tim and I are still together, but this has put a wrench in the works. Sarah has tainted our parents and my family's relationships. I'm sick to my stomach, and Sarah has now said that she would not do a paternity test on me. I've cut everyone off except Tim for the time being, but I'm at a loss for what to do next. Update. Tim volunteered to do a paternity test after I talked with Ma. Parents. We offered them a choice. Trust me or have me removed from their life. Sarah was first supported by my parents. Mostly because she was pregnant and had no other options. The deadbeat who cheated on Sarah came out to me personally because he was certain he fathered Sarah's child since they'd been at the time and he wasn't sure what was going on. Sarah evidently informed him that she was having the pregnancy aborted. Deadbeat contacted my parents and expressed his want to totally support the kid and Sarah. He turns out to be a plumber with a solid salary who wants to be a father to his child, but he has no desire to be with Sarah. Sarah refuses to confess to lying about the affair but when she saw others weren't buying it, she resorted to faking a mental condition to cover up her dishonesty. I think she is mentally ill, but not in the manner she describes it. I've also discovered what a brilliant manipulator she is. She gave my parents tidbits and minor falsehoods in order to make her grandiose deception seem more genuine. I tried to gradually turn them against me so that they would assume Tim was in love with Sarah. Things are still difficult with my family, but I believe I'm making progress, and Sarah has shifted her focus to gaining attention for being pregnant sick, so she's no longer obsessed with Tim. I, on the other hand, refuse to be near her. Baby was born today, and I'm praying for him since he's going to have a long and rough life with that mother. My cousin came to visit and brought me a snapshot of the birth certificate, on which the father is labeled as a deadbeat. Finally, Tim proposed, but we're planned a lengthy engagement so Sarah won't be invited to the wedding.